Hello, I am Bentham and welcome to Production Line. This is a game that has just recently come into alpha that seems like it might be quite fun. It is made by Positec Games, which is in fact run by a single man who's made a bunch of pretty decent games such as the Democracy series, Gratuitous Space Battles, um, Big Pharma, Political Machine, bunch of other stuff as well. Didn't realise that it was all uh, the same guy that was responsible for all those, but I played, played a couple. And this seems to be in the vein of Big Pharma. It is a factory sort of thing. Um, it's about building cars, building a car factory and setting up all the production lines and things. So yeah, it seems right up my alley really. It entered Alpha in the last couple of weeks and it can be found for a not too expensive £8 or your regional equivalent over on the Positec website, which I'll make sure to link in the description. But let's get on with it. I've seen a little bit of gameplay, enough to know that this seems like... Uh, my sort of thing, and I've watched a short tutorial that gave me a rough idea of what was going on. But uh, mostly we're going in blind so we can uh, learn things together. So starting a new game, there's a couple of different things to choose from. Various different factories, small, medium, tight budget, giant and mega. So I guess these four are just different scales. And this is one that's a bit more of a challenge and a weird shaped factory. This is like the, the floor plan of the factory you get. If you've seen Big Farmer, then there's some similarities there. I've never played that game myself, but I've seen it played so... It, this looks similar, and uh, but more like um, the sort of thing I'm like. Oh, there's an edit button. Oh, there's. Let's not get into this. This is another time. How how do I how do I escape? What have I done? Create zone. No, this is. I've broken it. Wait. Yeah, escape works. Should have thought of that one. Okay, let's not mess with those yet. It's cool to see that there's that sort of feature in place. But let us just begin with a simple factory. Here we are. Do ASD moves around and so the arrow keys. Always nice. Got our money in the, up in the top, we've got a million dollars! Yeah, you know what, forget the car factory, This that's fine by me. I'll just live off that for a while and uh, work out something else. Okay, well, let's let's have a look at the, uh, I believe this is the button we want to press. This gives us the, the various processes to build a car. Now, I don't know much about car making, but I think this keeps it pretty simple. And yeah, this is sort of also the build menu, but uh, basically this section here is like the uh, the order by which a car needs to be made. You've got to assemble the chassis, fit the body, paint it, fit an engine, fit accessories, fit electronics, send it through a quality assurance sort of thing, and then export it. And then there's a couple of things on the walls here. I believe this is imports, this is exports. So materials come out of this, cars go into that, everything's good, you make some money. So I guess we start with the chassis assembly thing. Here it is. We can, how does this work? Yeah, we spin it around by clicking middle mouse either it, it's not being responsive or my middle mouse button isn't sometimes my my middle mouse button plays up but it seems to be it's like two clicks or something or maybe there's like a time anyway yes yeah, so there's some very clear arrows here so I can work out what way we want it to face we've got an in, in, input thing over here import thing so I'm gonna try plonking this down there we go it's got no route to stockpile I'm I, I think that is, um, it just wants an input from the imports. So for that we get a resource importer. Uh, we can plunk that there. We can get some conveyors. This needs to connect up to somewhere. Not sure exactly where or whether it matters. So I'm just going to start building. Oh god with the flashing. Uh... Okay, now it's working. Now it just says insufficient resources, and now this stuff is being delivered in millions of different things. It's all being piled up there, and now it looks like we're assembling the basic components of a car. So that's pretty cool. Let's get the next stage in place. Also, there's a little drop-down menu here. This is like the, the, the little specific bits of it, but I think at this point that doesn't matter. If we click on this... There we go. Click on the actual assembly bit, there's like five different steps to production and they all have to be done before uh, the car can go and you can split these up by doing uh, researchy things later on so you can do every different bit in a different section. So let's get this section in place. I mean we could put it right up here but we might want a bit more space to potentially send a conveyor off in this direction and bring it back if we're adding in extra steps later on because that does I believe come into play again we need to connect the conveyors I'm guessing it is to this particular section I right, see so when you click it it goes into this 
different menu. Send it round the back here so it doesn't get in the way of stuff too much. There we go. And is it being delivered now? No. Oh, there it is. It just took a second. For the order to be placed or something? I don't know. Uh, now, we need conveyors. There we go, that works. Doesn't look like we even need to do like a... Oh no, there is a direction. There's arrows on the on the floor. So that bit of car has been delivered now to this section. And now it's going through... Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13 step process to fit the body. So that's something that we could also split up if we so desired. So while that's going on, we can get the next section ready. Next is painting. Let's plonk this down right here. And there's the stockpile bit there. Resource conveyor. Take it over to here. I'm guessing, yeah, we do need to connect that up. And as soon as we connect that up, it says, okay, now we just need to wait for the stuff to arrive. And here it comes from the import bit. Many barrels of paint and then some other weird bits. Uh, conveyors. Connect those up. And momentarily this car should be ready. Step 12. And there's step 13 and on it goes to the painting bit. And this is a four step process, so there's different times basically. The way it works out, like at the moment you're just doing one to the next to the next and then it will go out the exit. But there's the whole thing of everything takes different amounts of times, there's different numbers of steps, so you want to try and optimize it. Oh, there goes an autosave. You want to try and optimize it by adding in extra like sections to the production in certain places, splitting up other ones uh, and stuff like that. So the moment I'm building something terrible, it's like there's a lot of sections of the factory that aren't doing anything half the time. And it can definitely be improved and our ability to make cars can be sped up. Right, next. Fitting an engine. There we go. We're, we're running out of room here now. I thought it would be a little bit less space uh, using. Okay, so... Oh, this time it's over there. It's being annoying on purpose. I'm not sure. There might be a way of redesigning this stuff. I think I saw something when I was messing about in the menus a little bit earlier on that show that you can actually like rearrange the layouts of these things, but I could be completely wrong and it could be something else entirely. Let's put the conveyors in here. Oh, we've now got a car waiting to be painted. Things are building over. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of, uh, of uh, chassis being uh, queued up here because this is going far too fast relative to this. Probably it's this, go this is going far too slow. This could go quicker and it'd still be great. Just need more of this stuff. Right. This is being delivered, the engine's being fitted, this is a bit of a fiddly thing too, and once that's done we will want to fit accessories. And we are running out of space quite rapidly, but we'll put that there. We'll connect up conveyors. And... Put that in. And in a minute this will be supplied. Only thing is now, everything's having to travel miles to actually get to where it needs to go. That could start to cause issues, it might be that, um... Things just can't be delivered quick enough, so we might have to start importing from this spot here. Probably makes sense. We'll work that out in a second, because we're probably about to build something right here. So yeah, the final... is it? No, it's not the final section. There's electronics to fit. I like how we, it knows that I'm running out of space here, so it's getting smaller, so that it, uh, it's not so bad. But yeah, we're going to have to... guess do that. Might be okay. It's getting, it's getting a little bit cramped. I don't see a place to deliver items to here, so that's confusing. Maybe this doesn't need anything? But we'll... Put that in. Is that okay? Does the conveyor work that way? I imagine it does. I guess we'll see in a minute when this is finished. Two more steps to go and that'll be good. Uh, and then, finally, quality check. And uh, we could we could try putting that there. We're not allowed to connect it directly up, or we could put it around the corner here. I've messed up somewhat with this design, but it's it's a learning experience. We're we're learning how the game works. There we go. So we can just uh, when we click and drag. It'll make the direction work correctly. Uh, next slot not found. Okay, so this is not quite right. 
conveyor. How do you... Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Right. I don't know what I did. I just built it again, but now it's okay, so that's fine. Hey, I just got fitted with electronics without us having to deliver anything to it. And now there's the quality check. Which doesn't take too long. And then we need to build an export thing. Right there. Put some conveyors. Can I turn these the right way around? No. How do I... Can't turn them. I was able to do this a second ago, but now I've messed up somehow. Want to go this... Wait, there we go. And this way, and this way. Nope. I'll work it out. I'm sure there's a system to it. I've just not quite got the hang of it yet. There we go. And it'll get exported. Oh, there's a thing about this. Is it not in this section? It's somewhere. Basically, you can change the price of the car. Here we go. So, yeah, as soon as the... um Oh, so it's every time a new design comes through, you get a new car. You can name it gonna call it the car because that's what car designers like to do just add weird letters to normal words and you can mess about with the price and so the way this works is at the moment I'm making very few cars so I'm able to sell them for a bit more and people should still eventually buy them so let's put the price up by like 25% and see uh, where that gets us See, that's a fair price, that's how much we're actually selling it for. No one will notice. Some Somebody will come along and think it's great. Save design. And that car's now gone off to be sold somewhere. And that is... is this our... There we go, this is the showroom. So we can continue to mess with the price. And see if it gets sold at any point. Another autosave. Okay, so we now have cars being made, but it's it's terrible. Everything is terrible. We've made a terrible factory, and we should be ashamed of ourselves. I'm going to quickly add in a resource importer over here, because I'm seeing that there's issues with the resources not being delivered quick enough to the engine bit. And I can just apparently run these over the top of everything, which is great, because otherwise I'd be in a bit of trouble at this point run it to like there and then run some down here that connects that up and now in a minute I mean the moment stuff's still being delivered from this direction but at some point soon this should start being used to deliver to here instead and that will fix everything though at the moment no car there because the previous section is running too slowly but also this is struggling for resources that might be that there's too many being delivered or something overall because these things clearly have limits on how much stuff can travel through them. But yeah, now this is being used to feed these uh, closer by ones. Which is good. Alright, so the next thing I think we want to try and do is set up a research office. So, I guess we'll keep this out of the way of everything else. We don't want it blocking any stuff that's happening. I mean, maybe we're not using this space here and we could just start plonking them down over here. We could put them right along the edge here where we're probably not going to build anything. I know I was worried about, about building stuff like this because I'm like, what if I need this space later? I, I don't know what I'm doing yet. This could be a really important patch that I'm building this thing. I'm just going to go right over here and plonk one down. Well, that's expensive. Well, everything's been expensive so far as demonstrated by the fact that we've lost most of our money. So hopefully we'll get some back from this. We've got one car in the showroom. Have any more been finished yet? Have we sold any? Oh, I think if I go to this, I can check this stuff. Does this tell me? No, this is talking about efficiency and stuff, and I don't see a section to click on for money. Oh, well, uh, okay, I guess we did sell a car, because there's no cars in the showroom anymore, which is very good. I don't know where to look for that, though. That's efficiency. That says stock or sales, but I don't see any... Any other menus for it? Oh, do we just... Ah, we just click on our money, of course. And... Income from sales has happened. Do we know how many cars? I want to know how many cars I've sold. There we go, we've sold three. So that's good. Things are going at a decent pace. Cars are coming through. But at the moment, there's like... This is all built up, which is no good. Anything else building up? No, so very clearly, the 
body section is limiting us more than anything else. So we want to try and expand that. So we got the research thing placed. I was weird, I was like, there's nobody there, but you zoom in and... Big old office going on. Bunch of people standing about, learning things, working out how cars work. Got another car in the showroom. Okay, uh, there we go, research. Right. Whole big tech tree going on. I believe what we want to look, well, we want to find the thing, there we go, body specialization. So if we select this, research now, it takes 400 research points, no idea how quick we, oh, points per second, not 0.25, so that's going to take many seconds. So let's add more research things. We've got a bit of money spared yet before we go bankrupt and lose everything. That's the wrong button. It's all right here, research office, let's just build like... Four of them, and then we'll be making one research per second, it'll take 400 seconds to do our stuff. And we can speed up time in the meantime. No idea what this speeds us up to, but I just pressed that, so let's find out. What is this? I don't know what this is. Like, power is low? Zero out of something? Not a clue. Number keeps changing, I'm worried. Money's dropping. That could be how much money we're losing and how much we're gaining, and the gaining is zero. This is dropping. I'm going to go back to normal speed for a second. How's the science? We're like uh, just over a quarter of the way done. How are we doing for selling cars? Nothing in the showroom, so we can probably put the prices up, thinking about it. Should have thought of that sooner. That'd be the clever thing to do. I'm going to put it up to... 40%-ish. So that should help a bit, but yeah, the, the money is... Is it dropping now or is it going up now? I'm not sure. I mean, I could check our finances. So we're making profit briefly, then we made a bit of a loss, but not too much. So it's not too terrible. We've now sold five cars. We can look at our expenses. Component purchase is the major thing. I believe later in the game you can start to make components on site. Add even more to the uh, the production system. More stuff coming through. I mean, is there just a way to like speed this up? There's probably not like a go faster button. Pour more money into it button. Running, waiting for resources. Oh, it's spending time waiting for resources. That's not good, is it? Yeah, it's showing what's being delivered. It's a bit of a concern that there are times where it's, like, maybe I'm not understanding this right. I mean, the waiting for resources thing is dropping dramatically. Maybe it's just that a huge number of stuff is used up at the very end and then suddenly it needs to sit around waiting for a bunch of things to be delivered. Not quite sure. But yeah, we want this to be running non-stop because it is the slowest thing in the factory. What we could just do... Now I think about it, probably should have done this earlier, seeing as we're... Well, I think we're doing okay for money now, but... While we're waiting for that research to be done... Bring this back up. We could, like... Because I was thinking, oh yeah, we'll split it up and then we'll be able to have lots of different sections for it. But we could just... Oh, why has this gone grey? That's weird. This is the bit I wanted to click. The one thing I wanted to click and it's gone grey. Is it because we're researching it? Like, while we're researching, we're not allowed to build any more? Because what I was thinking is we build another fit body thing right here, and then we just split this into two, and then we fit the bodies twice as fast, which would be awesome. But it's grey now, and I'm guessing that's the stupid scientist ruining everything. Also, there's a nice thing if we zoom out, we get different, like, colours and stuff. So basically, the like, if a car is green, it means it's, like, everything's going great, nothing's slowing its production down. If it's yellow, it means that it's waiting for something. And so these are all sat here, being useless and not being turned into cars. Oh, this has gone red. Okay, red means that um, everything is just stopped dead and nothing is progressing, which is bad. So yeah, the resources are not getting there quick enough, which is annoying because it's not that far away. I mean, we could speed it up slightly. I don't know. There's probably science that does it, though. Let me... Oh, we're nearly finished with that now, actually. Which is nice. Wait, did I sped up the time so much and... Oh, whatever. Let me see if there's improved efficiency. 
Faster resource imports, there we go, so we can make those move quicker later on. Which is important because again we've got it not running at the moment. There might be a limit on how much like the stockpile can hold and stuff as well, which might be causing problems. I'm not sure. And apparently we can build stockpiles. I don't know if building one there would speed it up. I I'm not sure. There might be for storing oh, this is struggling for resources too. That's not too much of a problem though, because this is ultimately limiting everything. There's nothing backing up anywhere else. Oh, and I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I think the um, the supply stockpiles are for when you're building stuff yourself, maybe? And then you can store backlogs of materials there, and then they get delivered over to these. Maybe. Check the signs. Very nearly finished. As soon as we do that, we can start to split up the process into multiple steps. Which would be very nice. We'll try and do that before the end of the episode. We're running over time just a smidge, but... We're so close at this point. Well, now we've got two cars in the showroom, so maybe we put the price up a little bit too high. We'll keep an eye on that, it might be okay. Money is not plummeting, so... Not too bad at the moment. There we go, we finished the research, so I can choose the next step of research. I don't know what I want, because I didn't think about what I would be looking for next. Well, I guess I want to try and speed up the, uh, the imports. I'm guessing there's no other... There's like extra bits we can add as well, like there's not just the steps we've got being split up, I think we can also just add entire new steps to the, to the process to make just better and more valuable cars, but I think for the moment we'll work on improved efficiency so that we can get the imports moving quicker. I'll take 400, that's all good, so now... Are we just not allowed to, to build these anymore? We have to build the subcomponents? That seems a bit weird. I must admit. Or maybe you can only build one. Oh, I just accidentally... Okay, so when you click... That's something I should mention. This is in very early alpha, and there will be some bugs. Exam for example, you might click on something on here with the wrong button and do something underneath the window. Uh, but so far, no light bugs that actually have caused issues, as far as I can tell. That's a good sign. Everything's going okay. The developer's done good things before, so we'll probably do good things again. Um... Seeing as this is a multi-step process, we'll just do it next episode, and um, that'll be uh, what we spend our time working out, as well as, like, checking everything else. Once this speeds up, we'll find out where the other limiting uh, factors are, and we'll go from there. So with that, I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.